Okay, so I'm making pizza dough and I'm using, it's real simple, it's just a few ingredients. Flour, personally like King Arthur flour, uh, doesn't give the dough any kind of um, aftertaste or bleach taste. So this is my preference, but you can certainly use any kind of flour. Uh, salt, olive oil, honey, which will activate the yeast, and then of course the uh, actor of dry yeast. So the first thing I do is, it's three cups of flour. And that's added to a mixer with a hook attachment. And that helps with the kneading process. So a lot of it's not done by hand. It's a lot of it's done using the mixer. So three cups of flour. Salt is about a teaspoon of salt. Olive oil. That's three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix that together. While the flour, olive oil, and salt are mixing together, we're going to make our yeast. And the yeast is one package of active dry yeast. one teaspoon of honey, and one fourth cup of warm water. Mix that up really well so the honey and the yeast and that one fourth cup of warm water really mix together well. fully dissolved, kind of work it around in there. Add that. Allow that to mix in. And you will come over and get one cup of warm water. Add the water. Turn the mixer up and you're going to allow that to mix until it completely pulls away from the bowl and it's uh, nice and clean. It forms into a lump of dough. Turn this off. Take the dough off of the hook. And then we're going to bring this over to a lightly floured surface where we're going Pause. to knead it. Okay, so you take your dough. It's going to be a little bit sticky, but with the flour that you have on the surface here, you can definitely mix that in and that'll take care of some of that. going to knead it, incorporate some of that, a little bit of that flour that you have there. You don't really have to over knead it, that's, the mixer has done a lot of that for you. It just kind of smooths everything out. Form it into a nice ball, and then over here we have 
a space where we're gonna put it and we're going to allow it to rest and it's gonna rise while you continue making the rest of them. Made a couple so you can see how they do double up in size. So we'll go ahead and add that one and allow that one to rise with the rest. And I have a damp towel that we're just kind of laying over them. Okay, these does have been rising for probably a half hour now, so you can see they're doubled in size and they are at a point where they need to be cut and then individually bagged. So each dough will make four pizzas. So what we want to do is we want to cut these into four. And from here, they're going to be a little bit sticky, so it's probably a good idea to have a little bit of flour on hand. I'm going to grab them. Okay, so I have some dough here. I have a little bit of olive oil on it um, because we're not actually going to use these pizza doughs right away. I'm going to put them in bags and I don't want them to stick. So I add a little bit of olive oil to it. Knead them just a little bit. Roll them into a ball. I don't want to overwork the dough. And then I'm gonna add it to the bag. At that point, they can be refrigerated for probably 48 hours, um, or they can be used within the next, if, if you were making pizza right away, they could be, I would let them rest for about 20 minutes, and then they could be used and rolled out to actually make your pizza.